Welcome, Ophiosis. Ophiosis, Ophiosis said, Moon and Rising Sun. Ophiosis. Okay, Ophiosis. Um, this is the reading for October, November, and December. All right, Ophiosis. And um, in this quarter, we're going to be recognizing. Mm. I'm ready for Christmas. Mm. Like it to work out. Oh, it's getting colder. All right, Ophiosis, let's see what's coming in in October. Wow. Ophiosis, I see someone is going to be calling you to invite you someplace. Um, I see some of you, Ophiosis, are ready to make your vacation to book your vacation to somewhere warm for the Christmas. I see a lot of you are connecting with someone in the month of October. And this person could be inviting you or said, let's go away. But I see that you, Ophiosis, and someone is reconnecting. Missing, maybe this person was a past life person, this is someone new, or this is someone. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, never go back to your exes. Ex mean ex, it is over, okay? Oh, obvious is no. No, someone is going to call you to um, reconnect. Is your ex? No. Let it go, obvious, let it go. All right, I see some sort of a sadness in. Uh, November. It's as if a lot of you Ophios is, is wondering what if I did go? What if I did say yes? What if I give this person another chance? A lot of you in the month of November is thinking, thinking to reconnect with someone. Okay. Yeah. And in December, it's going to be happening. We go. If this is a new person, then it's good. But ladies and gentlemen, stop going back to the exes. It means X is X. It's over. You know, but in December, love is in the air. Every time I look around, oh, yes, yes. All right. So in November, you're going to, because this person called you in October, you're going to be really thinking about it. Am I going to go? Should I go? I never go on a vacation with this person. But okay, what should I do? So it's going to be okay. Only if it's a new person. Don't go back to the exes. Always try something new. All right, let's go in your reading. It's the last reading for bedtime. All right, the King of Cups. The King of Cups. The King of Cups. Fire of Water, the King of Cups. So this is someone that, yeah, the Emperor. King of Cups and the Emperor. And the world, Saturn. Saturn is coming to end a situation. Yeah, endings. Isn't this beautiful? Yeah, Saturn is coming in. To bring an end to an Aries man. Um, a Pisces Cancer a Scorpion person is going to be taking down an Aries man. A Cancer man. Pisces Cancer a Scorpion person. There is going to be an end for two men. This would be two businessmen, boss, supervisor. For some of you, this is a Cancer man. You are in a relationship or a marriage too. For some of you, this is an Aries man, could be a businessman, or you were married to this person. No, you're bringing an end. These two people could have been in some sort of a cahoots. Co co a cycle is here, an end, yes. They now recognize what an older woman and the King of Cups have done. This King of Cups, um, 
can be a cat, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man and his wife. Um, they're not recognizing what this couple has done. Yeah. They're not recognizing that a, a Leo young lady is connected to a Aries businessman. Oh yeah, the truth is now coming out. They know who is this Aries businessman. And a Leo woman is connected to this Aries businessman. I see people are praying. But you, Ophiosus, is like, nope, this shit is shutting down. Yep. You, you guys are like, nope. You can pray all you want, but this is going to be shut down. Yeah. This is going to be shut down. Whoever the spicy cancer scorpion man is, this man has done a lot of injustice. This month of October, you're going to be finding out something about this couple. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, man and his wife. And they're now recognizing that a Leo man is connected to an Aries person. Okay. As we go to the month of November, the Ace of Cups. And this is why a lot of you were in thoughts. A lot of you were in thoughts whether or not you should begin on a new relationship. Yeah. And the energy of Virgo, the hermit. Virgo, the hermit. A Virgo is in love with some of you, Ophioses. A Virgo is going to be helping out some of you, Ophioses. The Queen of Swords, water and air. The energy of the Queen of Swords is coming up. And... Uh, Something is going to be coming out about a Libran person. It can be an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran person. But this person is, is in the upright. So this person could be protecting someone. So we're going to be seeing what is that. So yes, someone, I told you about traveler. A lot of you, someone is asking you to go on vacation. And uh, this person has is in love with you. Yeah. They're asking you to go on vacation. Yeah, a, a Virgo young lady is finding out the truth of a situation. Um, this Virgo young lady is turning her back on a Leo person. This Virgo young lady is now finding out something about a young Leo. And these two people are in the same age group. These are two young ladies in the same age group. And this Virgo person is now finding out the truth of a Leo person and is turning their back. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A Virgo young woman is smart. Yeah. I see that they're going to be protecting. The Queen of Swords is protecting... As this is a cycle is over this week his queen of swords is protecting a relationship of a family of uh, um a woman um whoever this queen of swords is is protecting someone a reunion is going to happen and this is what i said don't go back to the ex um a reunion is going to be happening some of you ophiosis could be returning or reconnecting with someone you know from work the energy of the page of swords is the hurt of air. A page of swords. They're going to be recognizing that a young Gemini did not speak the truth. Whoever this young Gemini is had lied and didn't speak the truth. This is coming up in the month of December, Ophiosis. Yes, the energy of the moon, the eye princess. Oh my God. This this is powerful, Ophiosis. This is this is powerful. Um, they're going to be recognizing, wow, this is powerful. Um, they are going to be recognizing that a young woman, it doesn't have to be a Virgo young woman, but a young woman is highly spiritual. Okay. It can be a Virgo, um, it can be a Virgo young woman, but this Virgo young woman is finding out something. This Virgo young woman is highly spiritual, is a divine person. Okay, then the Knight of Swords. So we have the Page of Swords, which is a child, and the Knight of Swords. This is an Aquarian person. An Aquarian person 
they're now recognizing something about an Aquarian person. This person is between the age of 18 and 45. This child is between the age of no and 20. This person had lied. Lie. Yeah, this person had lied. This is coming out in December. Yes, it's a child. This person had lied. This person lied. It's a Gemini. This person had lied. Ooh, you're going to be finding this out, Ophiosis, that this little Gemini had lied. Yes, a Virgo is going to be going back and apologize to an old woman. Uh, whoever this Virgo is, but this Virgo is, uh, 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 she's going to go to apologize to an eye princess. So it's a spiritual woman. It's like, if she's not saying it also to this woman, she's saying, oh my God, I'm so sorry. This lady, um, you know, she she didn't do it, whatever. So I don't know if this Virgo did something, but this, this Virgo, a Virgo is going to be coming back apologizing to the high priestess because the high priestess show the truth of a situation. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So they're now seeing something about an Aquarian house of business. Okay. So um Ophiosis, I see that an Aquarian um could get some sort of a new house and wants to reunite uh, with someone um yeah but i see a libran is kind of protecting a capricorn person from this yeah yeah and whoever this person is, and because I'm going to ask, what is the connection? Because this Leo comes from um, from another country. And this this Aries man put this Leo on. And uh, the eye princess is now going to be finding out the truth. Um, someone wants to reunite with the eye princess. Um, but the universe, the gods and goddesses, this um, this Libran is protecting someone um, not to uh, connect with someone. Okay, so we see the Queen of Pentacles. Um, this is a Capricorn person. A Capricorn person is going to be recognizing that a Gemini had lied. A young Gemini had lied. Whoever this Capricorn person is, is now recognizing that a young Gemini had lied. Aquarius, there is something going on with Aquarius. The energy of the star. You're going to be successful, Oviosis. You, Oviosis, are going to be very, very successful. Successful revealing some sort of a secrecy that was going on. Yes, the energy of the tower. An end for an Aquarian. And their house. The end for an Aquarian and their house. Mars, Tower. But this is a house because this is the living room. An Aquarian wants to reconnect with someone, but I see it's not going to happen because uh, someone is protecting someone is protecting someone from this reconnection a lot of you ophiosis a capricorn woman is showing up the lies of a young gemini an old capricorn woman this could be this whole capricorn woman grandchild um, is recognizing that this person had lied. Yeah, someone wants a reunion. But it's not going to happen. 
uh, it's somehow you all feel this is going to be blocking a reunion because a cycle is going to be over I see someone and this could be the law is protecting um, someone from having this reunion with an Aquarian person because they're going to be protecting someone from an Aquarian person they're going to be recognizing and this this reunion is in the month of November so um, um, Ophiosis you could be um, you could be reuniting with a Libran person I see this is coming up yeah a Libran person wants to reunite yeah for some of you you're going to be reuniting with a, a Libran person a Libran woman okay there's something going on with this Aquarian and their house but it's, it's going to be a tower moment in December something is going to be happening to this Aquarian and their house let's figure out what is going on what is going on okay this Capricorn person a Capricorn person is going to be under some sort of a protection because a, a young Gemini had lied about a Capricorn person whoever this young Gemini is they're going to be finding out that a, yeah a Capricorn person is under some sort of a protection they're recognizing that an Aquarian was pleasure seeking yeah Aquarius yeah they're recognizing yeah yeah they're they're really recognizing that an Aquarian was pleasure seeking yeah some sort of a letter is going to be coming to an Aquarian uh, uh, that uh, and uh, to their house or to their business this is a tall moment yeah an Aquarian is going to be fired yeah this is Mars the towers something about this Aquarian house um but a letter is going to be coming in for an Aquarian that they're fired because this is Aquarian and that is Aquarian so in the house of the Aquarian it could be if you work also in some sort of a government institution um, a lot of people are going to get fired from um, their position so um, a lot of civil servants are going to be let go someone is coming back to apologize to the eye princess yeah a burger is now finding out the truth a Virgo now recognized that a Gemini had lied. A whole Capricorn woman wants to ap apologize to an eye princess. And when I said eye princess, it's someone who is really connected with the spirit world. Uh, with the, the, the angels and guides, the night dimension person. A divine feminine someone wants to come back and apologize to a divine feminine um but Ophiosis, yeah um some of you Ophiosis is going to be connecting to a, a virgo person some of you Ophiosis is going to be connecting with a libra person uh, some of you Ophiosis is going to be connected with a Capricorn person but I see you Ophiosis is protecting this Capricorn person you're really going to be protecting this Capricorn person all right why is it with this Aquarian it's like a, an Aquarian gets an, a new house in a Aquarian gets a new house but this is in December something with this Aquarian house in December this Aquarian is going to be reuniting um this is the energy of the Libran 
Aquarian is going to be reuniting. Aquarian is going to be reuniting. Conflicts is going to be over with a Capricorn person. Yeah. Oh, this Capricorn person, this could be their wife. Yeah. Like this person is saying to someone, they want to reunite. This person wants to, but this person is between the age of 18 and 45. Like they're going to be getting a new house and yeah, the, the mother, the mother is going to be helping this person get a new house. But it's like a Capricorn person because Capricorn is there. Capricorn is here. And the energy of uh, they're protecting a Capricorn from this Aquarian. And this is the night. So it is uh, someone between the ages of 18 and 45. Yeah, so it could be your child that is uh, an Aquarian is going to be getting a new house. And I see you and uh, your wife is helping this child. Yeah. Okay. So what's this letter is all about? Communication is coming in. Jupiter is in Capricorn. Okay. So positive news. Um, I see you, Ophiosus, is going to be delivering some sort of a positive news. Jupiter is in Capricorn. Positive news for a Capricorn person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the conflicts is over yeah so um you ophiosis that is married to a capricorn person and there is a child this is an aquarian um they're going to be getting a new house yeah they're moving out of the house and i see you ophiosis and the parents uh, i see yeah they're moving out of the house uh, yeah they're going on their home to live yeah and i see that you and the mother is going to be helping this person um to um to create a real positive moi yeah help this person and their partner start um a new so this is positive because this person is a is a young person Mm -hmm. Percy is a young person. I see um, you, Ophiosis, is going to be saying to a Capricorn they need to apologize. This is a spiritual person because it's an eye princess, so it's a divine person. This, this person is really highly spiritual to so a spiritual person. And they now recognize that a Gemini lied because I see... Um, a whole Capricorn woman is now recognizing that a Gemini had lied. And this old Capricorn woman wants to go back and apologize to a high princess, which is a spiritual woman. And this Virgo is going to be telling the spiritual woman, um, is wants to also uh, um, apologize to the spiritual woman also. Yeah. So whatever is going on, I see... Something about an Aquarian pleasure seeking, but the eye princess is here. So whatever this Aquarian person have done, the eye princess had shown them up for who they are. Okay, so something like that. Ah, oh, obviously, I do love you guys. Namaste.